My name is Kenny Beats. Welcome to the season three championship. This has been something that has changed a lot of people's lives from week to week but especially the people who win at the end of the season. There's only a few people competing today, but your sample for today for the season three championship is this. The sample is now uploaded. You have one hour and seven minutes to make a beat, and I'll give you $15,000 in cash. This is going to be the last battle ever from me. I know, I know, I know, I know. That sounds wild, but I want to do more. I want to do more for producers. I want to do more for the community. I want to find out something that I can do that's even bigger than this, and I'm working on it, and I already have plans, and I already have things that I have in motion for next year. Um, I'm still going to be on Twitch. My Discord will still be going on, but I'm not going to be doing Kenny Beats beat any longer after today i hate to tell you that i hate to tell you that i'm sorry this has been something that we've done for three years we've had hundreds of thousands of people come in and out of this stream we've changed how things work for producers on youtube we've changed how discords can work for producers we've changed what's possible for music on twitch we've helped so many people we've helped so many people just even get some confidence. This last couple years of doing this beep thing is so much deeper than me giving away some gifts and some plugins and us hearing some amazing talent. It's deeper than that. We've developed a system that is based in the community that can help people win. The point is, it's so much bigger than any one person or any one life that's been changed by this, whether they started making music or everybody in here showed them enough love to now they can make music in a real way. They started a community because of this, whatever it is. I'll be on Twitch. You'll see me on Twitch, but I'm not going to be able to do the because I have more shit planned. I hope you can understand that. I hope you can understand that. I really do. Let's get started. Let's just get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. This is the popular vote. For today, the popular vote is number 14, Dan, number 13, El Mako Mayan, number 12, Merc Figs, number 11, AI, number 10, Seth Goot, number 9, Oi Vagrant, number 8, Todd Champ, number 7, Not Charles, number 6, BP Bananas 13, number 5, Tahoe, number 4, Ardmore, number 3, Grant LaPointe, number 2, Azumi, number 1, Nolis. I just thought of something right now. Just in case I don't end up picking the same first place as the popular vote so as far as this is concerned if i don't choose no list if i choose someone that's not no list no list i will still get a gift worked out for you from uh one of our generous companies but let's get started the thing we're all here for this is the final beat battle these are all people who won throughout this last year and maybe some of them lost but everybody's here now and we're going to try to pick a new producer Let's get down to it. $15,000 in cash is going to one of these people. Let's see.
I've never really like been into the idea of like people banning books and shit like that. It always felt like anti art. But Dan, there's sometimes you make beats, and I'm I wish I could go back one minute. Sometimes it feels like Dan makes his beats on mute or like. Thank you for doing what you do, and thank you for being here today in the battle. Folks, this is our number one most winningest wild card we've ever had. Dan went multiple battles this year with zero votes in a row. And here he is now on top. El Mako Mayan up next with 88 votes, nothing shabby. Let's run it. Dan and Mako! one of the worst beats I've ever heard in my life. Also, weren't you disqualified last week? I don't even think you're supposed to be in this battle. What the fuck? How did you get in the battle? Weren't you disqualified? I don't even think you're supposed to be in here. What the fuck is Y'all should not have let him cook. Why did you let him cook? Someone said, Santana. Did you just do a Joel Santana ad lib over this? What is the fuck wrong with everybody in the chat? Why am I, why do I have to listen to this today? You, sounds like you AI generated yourself into a fat L. Sounds like you got split personalities and one of them hacked the other one halfway through making this. This sounds like you made this while drinking a Four loco outside. Like you were just sitting in public somewhere with a four loco and like a bag of chips that come in the multi-pack that you brought with you sounds like you were sitting in front of a 7-eleven on the curb with a hot ass acer laptop eating a bag of chili cheese fritos with a, a four loco like hmm All right, let's keep it going next up someone who had a very 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 nice entry into the semifinals a producer we've all been watching for a few weeks now since their win in the beat battle. Merc Figs, make some noise for Mark in the chat. Merc Figs, um, I really love that boop, 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 lick in there. There's, I, I feel like it's way stronger mix-wise and just overall the fullness of it compared to your semifinals submission. I know you like squeaked your way in in the semifinals in that last second. I think this sounds a lot better. We were complaining last week that everything sounded really wide and really stereo and really spread and it wasn't hitting as hard as it could. I don't think that's the problem here. Some of the panning stuff... That you were doing here was a similar kind of idea but it worked well um here's how i feel honestly since i'm not going to do this for a long time i'm gonna be very honest with everybody today i'm gonna say what i would say to you if we were in real life and we were alone and maybe that's not the nicest thing but uh what this sounds like mark is you're gotten you've gotten to 
the top of the level with this sound in your bag. We've heard you producing now for a couple weeks now, and you're always good for a soulful guitar thing, for a good neo soul kind of R and B kind of soul kind of change. Um, you always have good kind of live drum sounding things. There's always thought about the progression and about the melodies and about the sound choice. You do a lot of things well, but now it's time to get weird. Now it's time to start taking some risks. Now it's time to start doing some shit different, whether that means swinging things more or doing things that are unusual or more performance based stuff where you can hear more kind of human elements to it or more room noise or more, uh, I don't know, just something to give it edge. It doesn't feel edgy. It has a little bit of like a vlog intro feeling to it because it just feels like the chat is saying safe. What you're doing is a clean version of everything. Like your, your way you're mixing things, the way you're putting these different arrangements together with the, with the right choice of instruments, not the right choice, but a very solid choice of instruments. Um, the way you compose things, so certain melodies only happen in certain places or they build as they go on or whatever it is. You're doing a lot of things right, but I think you're reaching a ceiling. I think you need to put yourself in a pressure cooker for a couple months of new kits, new sounds, listening to new music, learning new production techniques and whatever your program is, um, producing with new people who you feel like are really, really, really good and they push you to a new level. It's time for you to push it, Merck. It's time to... It's time to boost up a level. Great submission. I'm going to leave you right where you are, Merck. Thank you for participating. Okay, this is, I got to be honest. In my personal bias, this is the beat I'm the most excited to hear today. I've listened to AI's beat from last week like five times this week. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it more than a beat battle. I've listened to it all week. The drums, the mix of it, the sample chops, I listen to it all week long. I truly love that beat in a way that I've only loved maybe 10 beats in the history of three years of doing beat battles. All right, all right, all right. This is AI. Let's go. I can confidently say you're one of my favorite new producers in the whole world, easily. Easily. You're one of my favorite pro new producers in the whole world, easily. It's not even a question. I'm going to be talking about you. I don't mean on Twitch or in my Instagram story. I mean in real life. Like, I'm going to be telling people about you. Right. I don't know who you are. I don't know how you identify. I don't know what city you're from. I don't know how old you are. I don't know anything about you. I am a fan. I am a fan. I am a fan. There is something about every beat I've heard from you that instantly, instant, first seconds, like, I mean, Timbaland fast. Like, remember how he only let people play beats for eight seconds? He was like, nope, I got to feel it right away. I don't know if that's true. Timbaland was maybe one of the worst judges we've ever had. He is the GOAT. He is the legend. I fucking love that dude. This man let people play beats for eight seconds. <laughs> AI... Every time your beats come on, I get that thing right away. And I don't think I don't think it has to be that way for something to be great. But I, it, it feels like that with you. Every single time I play something you made, it, it just instantly, instantly. You got my respect all the way. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Next up, Seth Goot with 154 votes. Seth, you like somehow sneaked your way into the battle today but we're going to let it rock. Seth Goot 
154 votes. Let's go. Just tasteful. The sound quality was cool. You took a lot of risks. You did cool shit. You did different change-ups. The harmony was weird and interesting, but didn't feel like out. I like that beat a whole lot. Wow. like the drums it's always nice to hear you play live horns on stuff using that whole sample of me as the focus instead of using the sample i want to hear as the focus that was not that was not the way to do it um you put me saying a lot a lot and saying all that stuff a million times i could hear it but i could hear the samples a muffled under a low pass filter very far in the background i know you use the sample and it's throughout your beat and it's very much like a big part of your beat but the biggest focus is me. And I don't know if you if you thought I like hearing my own voice or if that was like a I'm gonna give you a plus for sampling me, but that shit doesn't make the beat better. That makes it worse, if anything. And for me personally, it's like think about when you hear your own voice on a voice message. That's how I felt just now. So the whole time I'm cringing every time it said a lot, a lot. Um All right, Seth. I'm gonna put you right here let's keep it going next up oi vagrant very excited for this one too let's get it oi vagrant thank you for doing your uh beat battle breakdown so fast last week <laughs> certain moments in there i was wasn't sure if it was like off or it was just bouncing really far but i kind of lean on the side that it all the sloppiness of it is cool it all really worked for me i love some of the drum programming in there is very intermediate to pro a lot a lot of feel in that i love how i'm, I'm like getting back i feel like there was a couple years ago where people were like oh my god i need every piano and keyboard and sample to have all this wobble and wow and warp and shit on it. And then for a while, everyone's been like, nah, we don't need to, everything doesn't need to be detuned all the time. And we got over it. And now it's starting to feel good again right now for me. I don't know. Like in this moment, whenever I'm hearing a lot of beats that have stuff in them that kind of warps in this and that, it's feeling good again to hear that. That's why I was using the 404 the other day because I wanted to hear the 404 wow kind of thing. But I loved the texture of this beat. I loved how you used the sample, even though the rhythm of it was questionable for some people in the chat at some times. I do think it all worked together well. <laughs> staying up there i gotta be real hey all right you went in it's just such a cool beat next up we have the man the myth the legend todd champ let's go
That's first place for right now. That's first place, Todd. Todd, you stepped it up. Todd, you listened to everything we said last week. Dom just said it sounds like a hard-ass outro. Todd, you listened to everything we said last week, and you fucking paid attention. My, my, my one critique, I will say, I really only have one. Last week, I think we probably told you, we're getting used to your style. We're getting used to being able to guess what your beats are going to sound like. We need you to do something different. We need some weird shit. We need you to switch it up. We need something unexpected, whatever. I think, Todd, you, you're nailing it. it. It feels really different. It feels like a new thing for you. I'm, I'm listening to it saying in my head, like, I didn't know he could do this. I didn't know he could do that. Um, my critique is it doesn't sound as good as your normal beats as far as uh, the mix and the sonics of it. I think while you were trying stuff with sound choice and with uh, swing and different, I don't know, just like techniques, whatever you were doing that was different, that was working, I think you were also trying different stuff with distortion or saturation or something that you're putting on the drums or some of the instruments. And it felt a little bit gritty in like an artifacty way, not in a positive way in some spots. But... Maybe that was helping it too, to be honest. Sometimes you take that shit off and all the glue uh, goes away. But uh, the swing and the feel of it and the little vocal chop things and where the lead comes in and how the sample gets used, really, really, really strong, Todd. Um, first place for right now. Let's keep going. Not Charles. You actually got your beat submitted today. What a beautiful thing. Tied with Todd Champ at 208 votes. Not Charles. <laughs> Charles, I feel like you showcased way more like arrangement and sound choice and like structure in an oppressive way. Like there's so many sections to that that feel like they work together and they're independent of each other, but they all have like a through line. I, I, that's impressive to do that in a minute. And there's a lot of feel in that. There's a lot of great melodies in that. Todd going weird though is just some about weird Todd. I don't know. It's just it's hitting. There's something about it. It's just working. I don't think it's as as well arranged or as well mixed or as well plotted out as Charles is is. And they both use the sample a lot. There's something about weird Todd. I don't know. It's it's working right now. Up next, a chat favorite, BP Bananas.
It's almost it's almost first place. It's almost first place. I don't I don't <laughs> Be like, hey, Yerba, uh, this is the beat that won, just so you guys are aware. I don't know what to tell you guys. Right now, this is just how the cookie's crumbling at the current moment. Tahoe up next. <laughs> That's first place for right now. That is exactly what I was talking about with Todd Charles, Oi Vagrant, and Merc Figs. Exactly what I was talking about. Exactly. To a T. It's like it's like almost taking one of those producers and them taking all of that feedback that I gave five minutes ago and then utilizing it. Except that's just how Tahoe came the first time. Um Starting something that way sets you up to think it's so strong. It's like knowing a guy in a punk band secretly killed a guy and got away with it. And then all the songs feel a little cooler. If you just heard those songs and it was just some guy singing them, it feels different. Whenever something has context, you feel a new way about it. Whenever he starts the beat that interesting or that unusual or so like it blows your mind, the rest of the beat you're like, this is cool. Why are, you, why are you putting all these question marks? You don't think people in bands ever killed anybody? It makes your lyrics hit harder. Focus on, focus on what we're supposed to focus on right now. We're trying to give away this money. Stop. Don't focus on me. Focus on the beat. Um, so cool, Tahoe. The, your use of the sample is easily the best sample usage today. No one can compete. The way you flipped and warped that sample and pitched little things and transposed and bent notes so cool so cool i need to hear it again so cool Some shit, Tahoe. Amazing. Chat favorite, Ardmore up next. Let's get it.
Very impressive, Ardmore. Very impressive. I think maybe our best mixed beat of the day, in my opinion. You could hear every single thing so clean. Everything felt so full. That's like production-wise, in a lot of ways, it just shows a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience. There's so many things being utilized in that that are really impressive. The mix on it is so good. There's so many good sections. There's so many good sounds. It feels like everything is in its right spot. And that's almost why I don't want to leave it first. I got to be honest. I want to support a risk taker. For me right now, Tahoe is still winning the war when it comes to like true creativity. Tahoe's, it's, it's just, I feel it in my heart in a different way. Tahoe's in, in first for right now. Let's keep going. Grant LaPointe. T-E, Grant LaPointe. Wow. That's a good ass beat, Grant. That is a good ass beat. That is a very good beat, Grant. <laughs> it's really good, Grant. It's really good. You're not taking Tahoe out, though. You're not. You're not. It's really good, though. It's like super, 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 super good. It is super good. Um, bro, an unbelievable sample. You don't need to do too much to it. You know what I mean? And I don't mean to watch me whip. I mean, some of the stuff that Grant was using in that beat is so fucking fire. It's, it's, this, is, this is tough. This is tough. I mean, Grant is the only beat that I want to hear, like, every single rapper I like on. All right, for right now. <clears throat> Grant, you're in first for right now. We're going to see, though. Everything's up to change. Next up, Azumi. I wish I could hear everybody's beat today without having heard of other beats of theirs because I feel like it'd be a whole different battle. I know too much about Grant. I know too much about BP Bananas. I know too much about Azumi. Azumi's been making beats for two years and put that together in one hour. And we challenged Azumi to, to step it up and really do something different for them. And I think in a lot of ways, without doing something that's untrue to what their style is, they really did take it a new place, and I appreciate that. I appreciate when people take the feedback of this stream, whether it's me and the chat combined or either way. First of all, let's make some noise for having some representation in this battle that's not all just men who look exactly the same. Let's just make some noise for the fact that we have someone like Azumi in this battle, because isn't that a beautiful thing? 
Make some noise for her. listen to those back to back and just think about it a little bit you got to think bigger than just your personal taste for one second you got to think about it grant's, grant's does have an amazing vibe but grant also sampled an amazing sample i don't mean the watch me there's another unfortunately there is a song that is not out yet by a great producer that samples that same thing. So that sample is an amazing sample. Cause I, the reason why I'm being a little biased about the grant beat is cause I've heard a beat that uses that sample. That is fucking amazing. Someone that I won't say sample that same old song. Their beat is fucking incredible too. Um, grant said, I just dug and found it on YouTube. We, I believe you. I believe you grant. I'm not saying that you, you saw this somewhere else. This happens. It, it distorts my view a little bit. So the reason why I keep being hesitant about the Grant one is just because I've heard that sample flipped and it, uh, the one I heard is crazy. So, and everybody in a couple months now will hear that beat and go, oh, this is the beat that won Kenny's battle. And now it's this beat. The one that's coming out later, I heard already. This was made today by Grant. So it's tough. It's tough for me personally to hear that and not be biased in my brain. You know what I mean? Damn it. Honestly, at this current moment, Azumi, Grant, or Tahoe, it's basically a y'all are in a tie right now because I don't, I don't truly know. They're sitting at two, three, and four on the list. I truly, I'm not sure which way I'm gonna go right now. I'm not, I'm really not sure. Um, but here's the thing about today: there's no second place prize. There's no third place prize. But first place is the only thing that matters today. We're not splitting it. Sorry, we're not splitting it. No list. Let's get it. No list. That did not make it easier. I'll say that. That did not make it any easier. Um, it really didn't. I will, I will say this, just being honest, straight off the bat, Nolis's beat last week was better to me. Um, this is an amazing beat, don't get me wrong, but I will say the one last week caught me right away. I will say that. Um, this is hard to tell right now. Before we go any farther, before we go any farther, can we just admit that we need to keep our eyes on Ardmore, Tahoe, Grant LaPointe, Grant LaPointe, Azumi, and Nolis all together. Like, these are five producers that pretty much everybody in here should go follow. <laughs> Either one of these winning would make me completely happy. Oh, fucking.
fucking hard. Fuck. Fuck. In my last, in my last beat battle, in the season three finale, because of multiple factors and a lot of different thinking, your winner of $15,000 in cash, thanks to Yerba Mate, your winner is Azumi. Azumi. Azumi, you are the winner of this season. She just won. After all these producers to see someone who isn't just another one of the boys win this competition on merit, on merit, because of their ability and their talent is fucking amazing. Because it's deserved and it's well deserved. And we had some drama and Azumi overcame it and won based on their ability. This is not because it, it's not because it's a she, it's not because of feminism, it's not because of anything other than talent. And Azumi, this is fucking impressive. For you to have only been making music seriously or for producing seriously for two years and you to be making stuff like this in one hour, you are on your way to being a major, major, major force in the music industry, Azumi. You are on your way to being an important, important, important person in music. All these people here can see it. We are sending you $15,000 cash. Queen. To be able to say her, she, it feels amazing. I can't even believe it. I could never imagine in the last season. To be able to have even a tiny bit of representation in production, it's so big because there's so little. The beat battles have been an amazing moment in my career. It's been an amazing thing for us all to share and for us all to help people out with. Let's do something even cooler now. Let's do something even bigger. Let's do something even better.